what is up my jammers it is Kaylee here and welcome back to another brand new Kaylee Cools tutorial video Beautiful for a moment, we were roses. We were roses. so today guys I am basically going to be showing you how to mask something in After Effects and this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial it may be kind of hard it kind of depends about like how hard you think it is I think it's pretty simple it kind of depends but I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to mask an item if you don't know what that means it basically means that you basically take an object out from a background and you basically make it kind of transparent but it still has a background behind it that was there and then you can add whatever to the background and things like that you can add text behind whatever it is like a character and things like that and yeah so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do today so yeah so let's go ahead and get right on into the video now guys so make sure you drag this onto the timeline obviously which is what I already did and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because I just want it of this part and not the rest of like this so, there you go all right so after you've done whatever you need to do with it um, to just have like a certain specific thing you're gonna go ahead and click the, the clip like two times really fast then it's just going to come up with this layer. So make sure you're on the layer when you do this because obviously it's not going to work if you're not on it. So what you're going to do now after you're on the layer of the clip, you're going to go to Roto Brush. So basically you're going to draw this on to the um, parts of the character you want showing. So like for Ray, I'm going to go ahead and just draw on her and not the background. So make sure you don't draw this on the background because we don't want the background. So go ahead and do that. Um, I'll show you guys kind of how to do it real quick. Just go like this and just kind of draw it wherever you need to up here, right here, her hair. So it may show up like this, which is what mine did. So what you're going to do to get rid of the background so it just has her is you're going to click the alt button on your keyboard and you're going to get rid of the background. It basically is the opposite of keeping it and it should make it go like this. So let's go ahead and do that real quick if you're having the same problem I am having. All right. So it looks. It should look something like this um that's really all you have to do for it at the moment but what you're gonna go ahead and do now you're just like Kaylee what do we do now well what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go to little walking um, persons right here <laughs> and you're gonna click the blue one and it's basically gonna show a image of what this looks like so far so for most of you guys it may not show completely everything or you may have some edges that are off so like right here like by her ear it's kind of off I can take some of that out um, also by her hair I don't really want that a whole lot so there so mine's pretty good for some of you guys it may not be this perfect so you just may need to go around and kind of fix some things um but yeah so this is what it's gonna look like right now so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and so what you're gonna do now um so this does the whole entire thing you're gonna go up to the timeline here and you're gonna drag this little thing the gray part of this and drag it all the way so it gets all the whole entire clip so what you're gonna do after you've done that is you're gonna go ahead and click the freeze button right here that's on the side it has the little guy in the paintbrush right here and you're gonna click that and it's basically gonna take the whole entire clip of the person that you're you know masking or whatever and basically do it so that you don't have to go through each and every single frame and have to change it all so you may need to change some things it kind of depends how well you do it I think for closer up, like for Ray, she's more close up, so it's going to be a bit easier to do. But if it's something that's like standing or something like that, or it's not as close up, it's going to be a bit harder to do this. So I recommend doing something that is not super, super far away because it's going to be harder to do. But yeah, so just go ahead and wait for this to uh, finish freezing and then it, I will show you guys what to do next after that. Alright, so mine finished, so we're going to go ahead and play this. It might take a little while to do because it's, you know, just like that. So this is what it looks like. And it's pretty simple. So if we go back on here, it's going to show the same thing. Yeah, so as you can tell, there's a little bit of stuff right here when she moves her head that I might need to change. So when it gets to like that certain part, I'm just going to go ahead and move, remove that right there. 
so that it doesn't show. All right, so if you want to fix some stuff, like, okay, so it's fine, like, right here, and then when she moves her head, it kind of slightly shows the background. So if you want to fix that, what you can do is basically go ahead and go to the prop, the effect controls on here, and you can have the feather effect, which basically kind of gets rid of some of the outside parts right here. It makes it a bit smoother so that you don't see it as much. So if you want to do that, you can. I'm going to do a little bit on mine. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to just the regular mode. I fixed some stuff on mine. All right, so the background might not show up again. I don't know why, but it wasn't working for me. And I don't know, it, I just learned this effect not that long ago. So I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. It didn't do this for me before because usually you just click this and then it shows back up again, but it's fine. So if the, you're having that problem, just go ahead and add the clip back to your thing right here. But yeah, so what you're going to do now, so we finished masking it. So if you want to see what it can do, basically, we're going to go ahead and just put something random like text right here. Then put it behind this and then it will come up like this. So like, say you wanted it just behind her like that. It would come up like that so obviously it's kind of somewhat see-through because of the feather I added so if I wanted to change that I could okay so I changed mine a bit and this is what it's gonna look like basically and you can basically do whatever you want with the text um, you know it can be like this to you also if you wanted to you can add some cool effects all right guys so I finished my stuff I basically just added like a simple kind of thing here I added some different stuff to kind of make it look a bit better but yeah so you can't see the text super well I just put smile I don't know why just yeah but basically this is just what it looks like and as you can tell the text is behind it I also added if you take the text away you can see that I added kind of a bokeh effect to it as well in the back here um, so you can kind of add different stuff so this is basically if you want to put something behind whatever object you have in the video and yeah so I just think it's kind of a cool effect to do and um, you know I thought I'd show you guys how to do it but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this tutorial helped you if you guys have any problems let me know down in the comments I'm always happy to help you with guys with any of the questions that you have about this or anything like that and make sure to also let me know what tutorials you'd like to see in the future and yeah guys so thank you all so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys and god bless your day